I've always thought of traffic lights as like quintessential like South African, particularly Joburg kind of encounter. There's something about like that hermetically sealed zone we all drive around in, which with our locked doors and our safety glass that kind of like separates us from, from reality and making art in South Africa in particular, where we have like incredible poverty and violence against women and you know, unemployment rates above 50% and constant power cuts, you know, it seems, it seems like the least useful thing to be doing. And yet somewhere in the freedom of making art, artists kind of provoke us as society to think about the way we live and the way we relate to each other. And that role, I, I genuinely, in an earnest way, do believe in the value and the utility of it. I'm constantly digging through my archive and developing new relationships with images. Like this photograph of Michelle that I took in 2008 in Beaufort West. Michelle at the time was a sex worker and supporting her whole family like that. I love photographs like that, that kind of you don't know where the person is in their mind. They're very aware of the photographer. They're very kind of comfortable with the photographer but they're also safeguarding a kind of privacy. So we start wondering where Michelle is in her mind. Working in and around wounds, I think has been quite a big part of my practice in the last five, six years different kinds of wounds, psychological wounds, physical wounds, what is on the surface, what is below, in psychological terms and physical um, kind of bodily terms. I remember just this moment of like pulling this work print off the wall and somehow the tape came off from the surface and I couldn't believe looking at it, like how clear the, the, the image was on just the tape. And, and it then became interesting in so many other terms as a basic strategy for collage and combining images, which still is going to this day as a means of pulling an image apart, getting inside it really, um, separating the, the real surface of the representation, the ink from the support of the paper. Again, interesting in psychological terms. And then honestly, it took like weeks to like kind of get that right at the smaller scale. And we had to come up with a technique using this aptly named product called Stuff Off um, for removing the sticky parts of the tape because I wanted the image to kind of float in the space, but I wanted the tape to kind of, yeah, like divide the space. I've also been experimenting a lot with how much pressure I apply. Over the years, over 10 years of doing this, like really learned about the pressure because sometimes, sometimes I want just the, the ink to transfer, sometimes I want the paper to tear as well. And in all the sticky tape transfers I've made, like that's really important because it has a lot of implications to the next strip you make, how see-through it is. It, it is a drawing, it's, it's a drawing. More recently, I've also been writing with the burn folder and you're kind of a little bit blind because you don't know exactly how it's gonna look, which is always great. Like, so then the process of like ripping it off, like you finally see the image, which is like, it's like a nice moment. It's like getting your film back from the, the lab, you know, like you, you remember the taking of the photograph, but you never actually saw it. I really think spatially about how particular combinations of, of um, images can move the viewer about, pull them towards the work, push their eye that way, move their body this way. That's kind of one of the fundamental things that interests me about art making. I just started thinking about ways to, to hang these things. When it's resting, the image will kind of hold together. People will have to walk past it and kind of brush past it. So then the gaps will kind of reveal themselves. I don't 
see my work as separate from my life. It's important to have separation and to go home and to leave work in the studio, but like the attempt to understand the world moves consistently between the work and the, the marriage, the friendships, the personal life. Um, it's all part of the same thing for me. And that's, that's a great thing because it's the stuff that's interesting and important to me.